Oh my god! Yeah? You hear the lovely bam bam you know? The the ambient sound of M music? being near, yeah. near his immense menseness, yeah. All right. I think it's just the music of the zone. I don't think it's specifically. No, no, it's it, he, he just oh, has okay. this aura Great. around him. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. What is this sorcery, Guildstar lady? <laughs> she just has like a little record player between her hands. So where did you say? Between her hands. Oh. <laughs> what, what did you think I said? <laughs> it's in between her bum. <laughs> you know, both of her bums. <laughs> <laughs> Little known fact about Wyverian women, two bums. No, not bums, buns, B-U-N. Okay, well that's more reasonable. I wish to make a purchase. Okay, then open the shop menu. Like, what is this menu you speak of? Are you stupid or something? I would like to buy two giant bottles of wine and the whole roast. That's not for sale. It's the only thing on the table. Yeah, those are mine. What's for sale then? You can't see it because it's behind me. Oh, uh, be you mean that empty shiny space? No, it's between my buns. <laughs> You can't keep both a record player and a stack of potions between your buns. That's, in that's insane. You've not seen my buns. Where do you keep your stock? This is just a food table. How are you a general shop? Well, you can't see it, but there's actually a trap door under me. Like right under you or next to you? Wouldn't you like to know? What if it was to just open? Then you'd be delivered to my stock. Surprise, it's on the front side of the table. <laughs> So what do you want to buy? Freedom! Not for sale! No! That's enough ass-mounted music boxes. We have hunting to do. That's what I call myself when I'm using a hunting horn. <laughs> You went hunting? Again? Why is she so surprised? I've never met a hunter before. It's so unusual. Do you, <laughs> it's all you do hunt? Is that like a thing? And why is she permanently like... Ooh, 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 also, why is her hand like so swollen? <laughs> yeah, she's got a wedge. I'm, just, I'm actually holding a block of cheese from in my sleeve. <laughs> this, is, this is a sleeve cheese situation. It's, like, it's my sleeve cheese. <laughs> Thank you for the V ticket. I, I like that her, like, entire existence is just for the tickets. Well, you know, you've got to have someone to give out the tickets. That's the important thing. I mean, I, I, I guess, but it could just be one of the people who's already around. She's the ticket lady. What do you want from me? Well, actually, she's the she's the Wyverian lady. <laughs> Piggy in the back! There's a poogie behind you, ma'am. I'm not, like, calling you something weird. <laughs> I don't like this game. Can we stop playing it? The taste was refined. I still think one of a kind texture is more likely to be a negative thing than a positive thing. Oh no, it's always nice to experience new things. Yeah, but you expect a kind of texture when you eat something, right? Like if I have a slice of bread, it's like, oh, that's a one of a kind texture. It's probably because it's weird, not that it's like the most perfect bready bread I've ever eaten. Well, I mean, I, I, I guess if you just have a piece of bread, then that makes sense. Poutine is something I would describe as a one-of-a-kind texture. Man, you and fucking poutine. Just, do you go on about anything else? Yeah, I, I, I think I do. Bob Bar, Canada food, woohoo. Well, look, I haven't had it in a while because even when they try to do it in the UK, it's incorrect. It's just fucking chips, gravy, and cheese. Okay, it's not a complex dish. It's a very specific kind of cheese, and if you use other cheese, then the texture is wrong, and the whole point of poutine is the texture. The whole point is to eat it, then stand up, and then a little drop-down message appears that says it's a one-of-a-kind texture. Exactly. What is this, like, series of weirdly spaced islands? Oh, if you run really fast, then you can hop, 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 hop across the ocean. Uh, wow, man, that's a hell of a fucking jump, Jesus. It's a cool desert you're showing me, not much going on. There. Well, you know, we're here to do a job and eventually we'll get to do the job. That rock in the distance is very scary. We are the exterminators and we're here to exterminate. Oh, so we used to be terminators? I don't think the upgrade to terminator is exterminator. No, it's not an upgrade thing, we're exterminators. Terminator, termitator would be a great name for a... A pest control I'm business. I'm very certain that the pest terminator is is definitely. Ah! Talking of terminating pests. It's a desert. It's, it's the Celtis Queen, but not quite. It's Sandy Bugs. The you whole know, Sandy Bugs. I'm not. I'm not as excited about this as I thought I was going to be. She looks a lot less different to normal Celtis Queen than Desert Celtis does to De Celtis Queen. Except her. It's Desert Celtis Queen. I I know. That's what I'm. I'm saying is is she looks a. This is a cool moment for you. Yeah, I'm just saying I thought she would have looked more more different. However, she does have a very long tail. I'll give her that. She's brown. We didn't have to bring race into this. She's desert colored now, so... I've got nothing wrong with that. 
Uh, I, I'm pinned, apparently. Are you okay, man? Just, just stand I'm up. I'm not sure what part of that was me being pinned. Just, just stand up. Just, I, I, I can't, I can't do it. Oh! I, oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh no! Oh cool! Oh! I'm riding. I, I'm, I'm the one in charge now. Excuse me. I just got Celtus. Did her pin put you on her back? Yeah, she used her tail and put me on her back like a Celtus. Oh! But that's not an attack. That's giving you like. The pilot. Well, she doesn't seem to think so. Either that, or she does seem to think so, and she likes me. Oh, does it sell? Does it go on the ground? And oh, oh dig it around. Wait, there we go. Ah, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, we he, he was hiding. He was trying to escape. How cool is that? Yeah, it's pretty Look good. Look at the size of her tail pincers, by the way. Yeah, I, I did. That was the first thing that I made mention of. They're, they're very, very so noticeable. So the thing about Desert Celtus is that yeah. they spend most of their time. Uh, hi tough. hibernating in little like burrow cocoons underground and sand. so the desert celtus queen knows that and that's why she has the super long diggy pincers because uh, she goes for, digging for around digging. for dormant celtus rips them out yeah, the okay. ground activates them and then can use them so she can pluck one from anywhere and i guess she just got lucky that this one was just hanging out here to begin oh my god <laughs> Why, why does yeah. it look like that? I mean, I, she is bigger than regular Celtus oh. Queen, right? I, it's not just specifically this one. Like, I get yeah, the feeling yeah. that's just a Desert Celtus Queen thing. But imagine being a Desert Celtus, just nicely in your hibernation slumber, right? And then you're just woken up by being violently ripped to the surface. Like, oh, yes, my queen. Oh, my God. I'm both trying and struggling to get him out here. I, I want to be the one who mounts. I'm struggling to not be snapped in half by those... Yeah, that's a very hard attack to dodge. Those pins of tweezers. Like, they're so big! Why are they so big? All right, I've dethroned the, the regular Celtus. Maybe now I can get my mount. I think she's... Uh... I'm just trying to completely ignore him because I want to mount her while he's not there. <laughs> and as we all know, if he's there, he's, she's unmountable. Well, I mean, based on my current experiences of only doing aerial attacks, I think that's the case. There you go. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to grab it all. I'm just going to keep stabbing. I mean, technically, you got to do it at the very start when she put you there. No, no, don't paralyze me. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. It's okay. I don't need lamb. You don't need lamb? <laughs> that's okay. I don't need lamb. Just want you to know that, okay? But how are you going to open your kebab shop? <laughs> I don't need lamb anymore. Stop selling me lamb. Thank you. Think of the heroes. Oh, she's so much more like violent with them. She, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's hard not to be with those that tail though. Is is like like quite cooperative, whereas Desert yeah. Celtus Queen is very much fuck you, do what I want. I don't care if you die. Oh god, that was big and yeah, painful. big blast of paralyzed. No, Conan, you're stunned. Oh! Yeah, I'm not stunned anymore. No, you're stunned. It's gonna take a while to get Conan, here. Oh, jeez, that's so ironic. Y you all right? Oh god, no, no, god. I can't help but feel like you were just running towards me, wanting to hit me the whole time, and then just completely remove the possibility of that happening very quickly. Oh Jesus Christ, she's so accurate with her. Ball squirts! Yeah, she's uh, she's good with her squirt. Ball squirts. We should say some other words now. <laughs> Extract time. So you don't think the modern Nally... The other Celtus is such a big command platform. Yeah, you don't think the Nally tail is, is enough difference for you? I mean, it's cool. I just thought that there would be more than just that. Because it's not like... Well, there's the massive change in fighting style is the main thing. Oh, yeah, no, no. The, the move set's great, but that wasn't what I was commenting on that, that you're asking about. I was just talking about visuals when I said that. Oh, I wanted to do her super attack. It's the coolest thing. I guess it's like, percentage-wise, the amount of Desert Celtus that is <gasps> Oh, she did it! She did it! She did it! Okay, that was, that was cool. Is he just underground now? No, no! He, he, she killed him, and then she's ripping out a new one. Oh, I didn't see the part where he died. He just sort of, like, disappeared past my screen. Yeah, so her ultimate attack on Desert Celtus Queen is she powers up and then blasts the Celtus at you as a projectile. He impacts you, That's literally cool. falls to pieces, dies, and then she pulls a new one out from underground. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how cool is that? Pretty aggressive in every sense, really. <laughs> It's so awesome. I mean, I might think it's cool. I don't think he thinks it's cool. Yeah, but that's the difference with Desert Celtus, because there's so many Desert Celtus hibernating that she just uses them as repeated fodder. Like, she doesn't have to really care. Just gets more, you know? They're I guess that's fair. I like that she's just strafing at us diagonally. They're just free. They're everywhere. That's well, free real estate. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Are you? Oh, God. I oh, God. It's my turn. No. Ah, God. Ah. Well, have, a, have a fun ride. Oh, she put me on him. On her. Oh, God! Well, I've mounted the Celtus. Ah! I'm mounting the Celtus currently. How did you do that? 
while I was being pinned between well, them. I think I was the one that knocked the Celtus off of her. I don't think it was the pin. I'm so confused. I think I somehow melt mounted him from the top of her. Excuse me? I made a Celtus stack. You did make a Celtus stack. <laughs> Sounds like a fantastic ice cream. I don't know that it does. I don't really want insect flavored ice cream. You know, in a Celtus, Celtus stack Sunday. I don't really want insect flavored ice cream as a concept. One day we'll all be eating insects, so you've got to get used to it. I mean, yeah, probably. They are an efficient source of protein that's very renewable. <laughs> I didn't realize you were a bug meat salesman. I'm just I'm just aware of the concept. That would be such a bad, like, traditional door-to-door -door salesman. <laughs> like, little briefcase of example product, but it's just opening it and then just insects. Like, oh, I've got something to show you. Would you let me in? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll give this a chance. It could be anything, right? It's like, yeah, it could, it could be anything. Well, let me just put this down on the table. Are you all right with it? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, you're about to find out. I am mounting Celtus again. Why? Stop just mounting Celtus. Celtus! It's not about him! Look, I don't want to mount Celtus. You flinched him out of it. I don't, I'm not trying to mount him. I'm trying to mount her, but he's just sort of in the way. You got some serious distance off the back of that mount. Thank you. I've been practicing. Ah, uh, 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 uh. uh, that sounds like a paralyzed cotton if I've ever heard one. Well, the to be fair, if you had a bug case full of bricks... <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confused as to what you're talking about me having in this situation. <laughs> if you had a book case like, full of like bricks, a, like, a, like a bag that's shaped like a bug, but it's actually full of bricks for some reason. <laughs> Can I introduce you to my bookcase full of bricks? I bet you'll never expect what's in here. Is it bugs? No, it's bricks. <laughs> God, it is vicious that she just pulls them out the ground instead of reusing the same one. Ow! Ow! She does a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, she does. I am, like, burning healing here, and I should be drinking yeah, it. Yeah, same. Yeah, it doesn't help to burn it, I don't Oh, my God! <laughs> that was amazing! That was so elegant! This is not my intent. This is not my intention. You're like, oh, she killed him like, see? Oh. Did you see him break apart? Oh, it's brutal. No, I was sort of inside of it at time. Why won't you want Celtus die? Because I'm not in the position to do so when it happens. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, new one. Uh... Fresh Celtus. That means the mount's been reset so I can mount it again. Pro and new PSA. Times like these are why I sometimes stay a bit away from the monster so that you can get a nice camera angle on ultimate attacks that would otherwise be completely missable if I was up close like Cotton, because he's not seen it twice, but you and me, audience, we've seen it twice and no, we got I, I to enjoy it, that. I saw it the first time, everything Pro except PSA for literally the, like, ended. Don't interrupt part. my PSA, this is not about you. You inform the people, I'll complete the quest. Oh, he got stuck in a wall. He's got big, big, big horny horns. That's fair, but I didn't expect him to actually have a stuck in a wall animation like a Tigrex. You went for Tigrex instead of Diablos as the classic example of stuck in a wall? Yeah, but Diablos is a common thing. Tigrex is less common, but more cool. Tigrex is, is much dumber because he just gets his mouth like, uh, 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 uh. I opened my jaw too wide. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I literally, like, it's so silly. It's like when you try and, like, put a whole potato in your mouth to prove a point and then it gets stuck there. No, no, back up. Hold up. That's not going... Oh. <laughs> Elaborate. Well, you know, you see a potato and you, and you look at the guy beside you and you're just like, I, I bet I could get that whole thing in your mouth, in, in, in my mouth. And then they're like, no, you, no there's no <laughs> way you can fit a whole I bet I could get the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> see, that does I'm, bring up one of my most irrational fears. Oh, Someone's God. Someone's going to stick something giant in your mouth. <laughs> Again. Oh god. Yeah, I've, I've noticed. Oh, I can't big right Celtus flight. Like, she literally presses you against the regular Celtus. It's brutal. Oh, see, when I'm it dead. happened to me, there wasn't a Celtus there. I'm, I'm slowly dying to just tiny hits because I, I, I'm stenched. Yeah, this went very bad very I mean, quickly. It's, it's okay. I mean, I'm alive, and that's that, that matters to me. So, what I'm about to say, I would like to preface by a big, giant, glowing red alarming warning that says, Do not try this at home! I feel like it's gonna be obvious, but go ahead. <laughs> One of my greatest fears is there's a little, like, I, I, I kind of want to call it a trick, okay. but I feel like that's underselling it. I have a so, you know, a light bulb. Bad idea of where this is going. So, the thing but about yeah, a, light a light bulb, bulb the is. shape of a light bulb, uh -huh. is it will very easily go in your mouth. Like, you can yep. very easily put a light bulb in your mouth, but re removing it from your mouth is uh -huh. next to impossible because of how it's shaped. It just well, won't come your mouth out the is same. Big enough. 
and so it won't come out the same way, which means the only real way to get a light bulb back out your mouth once you put it in is to either, you know, like break your jaw or to break the light bulb and then you've got a mouth full of glass. And that is like a real like, ugh, irrational fear of mine, somehow ending up with a light bulb in my mouth and not being able to remove it without... Yeah, you know, unintentional light bulb in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You, know, you never know when that might happen, so it's, it's kind of scary. I think it's a valid valid irrational well, I, th I think there's also the part where if your mouth is big enough you can get the light well, bulb well sure in. but you know most people aren't mr giant mouse oh here it comes here it comes oh god that hurt i'm yeah, stunned did you see it did you see it break apart this time die i, I mean it would have been hard not to with it hitting me in the face <laughs> i got you that's that's fine i'm healing actually currently man no you can be you don't have to be i think you, you can you can pull off a nice a nice persona what you're, you're heal healing heal you're, you're healing Okay, I still don't get like it. A, like a wrestler, like a wrestler okay. heel. Okay, like I, you're healing. I just, you're being a bad man. No, I, yeah, no, I get that. I just, I'm more confused about how that related to what you said before. Because you're like, I'm healing right now, and I said, oh, you don't, you, you could probably get away with being a good guy, not a, not a, not a heel. Well, if you'd said you could probably get away with being a good guy, I would have probably gotten instead That's of. That's what I oh, said. You, you, no, what you said was you could have a nice persona. <laughs> You can have a nice persona. <laughs> Which immediately made me think that you were calling me a furry for some reason. <laughs> she, she, oh, okay, she's being mounted very slowly. I thought she was just dead for a second. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind, no mount. Oh, they need to make it so in Monster Hunter 6, Insect Glaive can eventually reach Celtus level Kinsect. I mean, that should at least be an event qu event quest kinsect type thing. Yeah, just like 10 times the size Kinsect. Like, surely, surely you'd have a... a a la okay, a layered insect glaive that's like one of the DLC weapons, basically, where the the insect glaive is a Celtus queen and the the, the kinsect is a Celtus. Like, why oh, isn't that? Oh yeah, that would be so perfect. Why wasn't why wasn't that the the plushy insect glaive weapon? Because it has to be a, a monster in the game, obviously. Oh god, I'm pinned. I don't think it has. Oh to. god, I'm pinned. Ah, ah, I'm pinned. Ah, get it off! Get it off! Wait, no, no, nothing's happening. Oh, I, I think I have yeah, gotten yeah. it off. I'll be honest with you. It looks so embarrassing when the pin gets cancelled, but your hunters just they're like, ah, ah. So apparently, I've since learned after our paintball discussions that the yeah. reason paintballs work is supposedly they're so incredibly like distinct in how they smell that we can track the monsters thanks to having palicos that can pick up the scent of the paint. Yeah, so pheromones, basically. That's what I've been saying. That's not a pheromone and a smell are. Two very different things, but also well, what happens is a thing when that you smell. No, pheromones can be completely smellless. It's a, it's like a receptor that picks them up. But the the point I'm making is, what happens when you don't have palicos with you? Are we just like, <laughs> yeah, that's some paintball, <laughs> some paintball smell over there? If, if it is just a smell thing, why even call it a paintball? Because paint isn't really. I mean, I guess paint has a smell. But... Actually, no. Have you ever have you ever smelled paintball gun paint? It is not paintball gun paint. I've never never paintballed myself. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. Okay, bye, Celtus. Have a nice day. I'm free! Yes! You can go back to sleep now. It does feel like a... It does feel like an I'm free moment for Desert Celtus versus regular I mean, it, Celtus, where it feels like yeah, a no, my one. queen moment! Yeah, there's a very big difference in how they're treated within their uh, hey, man. kingdom. You should stop being paralyzed and hit and carve the, carve the monster. That does sound like a nice idea, but I'm not going to do that. I don't DS think. Queen Hard Claw! Oh, hey, you too. <laughs> yeah, man, it's really cool. Here you go. Thanks. I, I mean, it didn't even hit me. Well, I, I, I can't even, I can't even knock you up because I bounce off the shell. You know, I prefer not being knocked up. <laughs> I can't knock you up with my saw. Quest complete. Why are you white? What? Why are you glowing white? Because I've got white puff. <laughs> I love that. It's genuine. What? Like, I mean, I think it's due to my parents, if I had to guess, but. <laughs> I love that we got regular Celtus updated twice because all of the ones yeah. that she kills count oh, for yeah. our records. That's of hilarious. Course. Also, I'm pretty sure that was another gold crown. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh gotta gotta cross the cross the sea! Cross the sea! God, and you need to cross it's much less like a zone transfer on this side, I'll be honest. Cross the Yeah! Crouch! Got a crouch! Cr crouch, okay. Okay, uh, alright. That's quite the elbows. We did it. You've never seen this before, but this is another four ultimate uh, unique subspecies. Right. This is a female Diablos. I hate how visceral the drinking sound is. This is there. a female Diablos with feet.
Does Diablos not normally have feet? No, no, the different. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I didn't hear who told me what's going on here correctly, but I'm pretty sure they said it's a female Diablos with feet. Is that like if I were to like introduce you as a human with feet? Just like, just in <laughs> case you were wondering, he does have feet, so it, it, not an amputee. Go, Genprey, do it! Go! Give us this they're doing, they're doing song. their best here. I think yeah. the third one fell in the sand trap a while ago. <laughs> just, oh, oh no! I think she might have noticed. Yeah, well, I did start blowing my heart. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that will do it. That is a battle cry. Yes, the classic battle cry. Well, I mean, monsters recognize it if you use it enough. Ow. That's a lot of knockback from that tail. Okay, that's that's fine. Just, oh, I love the little, like, kind of darker, purpley bits on her. Yeah, they're nice. You don't really see that in modern Black Diablos. No, it's it's very just sort of black. <laughs> I love the modern Black Diablos. No longer held back by traditions. Though I mean, to be fair, the world specifically had some very muted colors. Oh, that was close. Holy hot damn, that was close. No, I'm being slid away oh, from the target by the sand shelf. I've never experienced a hot dam. Is it like a, a dam built in a volcano? Yes. An obsidian a, dam? A hot water dam. Also, what you say when you check a bath's temperature and it's not ready yet. Well, I mean, th th I, th I would say it's too ready, if anything. <laughs> this bath's override! It's one of my favorite things, because, like, I, I I will just put up with that. It's just like, oh, it's it's a bit too hot. Ah, oh, my body will adjust. Just get in. Oh, it burns, it burns. Maybe yeah. my skin's boiling. I'm just oh, going to keep late. slowly lowering myself. I can take I mean, it. like... Alaclimatize! Like, once you're in, you've committed. It's not like the towel is at the ready for you to just, like, stand up and jump out. Like, you don't want to make the whole the whole floor just covered in water. Like, you just sort of got to deal with it after a certain well, I, point. I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump out, just as a rule. Well, yeah, I mean, especially if your feet are wet. That's just not a good idea. You know, she baits you with the Diablo idle animation. Yeah. She starts doing it and then cuts into the charge. I did notice that. Oh, what? <laughs> the charge into just the dig! That looks so funny! Because oh, no. it's like she just falls forward into the ground. Oh my god, she fucking did a charge off of the dig lane. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't do that. Nobody should do that. During, like, like yeah. the Black Diablos in, in World and Icebot is so hilariously easier than Old World Black Diablos. Yeah, I can't disagree with that. Alright, we got a knockdown. That's good, I'll use that to heal. Oh, broke a horn. I mean, that's good, but that also means we've been hitting her horn, which is not a weak spot. Well, we're slowly turning it into one. Not really. That's not quite how that works. I mean, I guess we're moving it out of the way of the face. Once both horns are broke, the whole head is a weak spot. Well, yeah, because the horns are out of the way, but the head is always a weak spot if you hit the head part. No, no, you can hit the horn stumps when they're broken and it's a weak spot. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying, is that the, the actual horn is basically gone at that point. No, it literally changes her head hit zone once both horns are broken and you can hit anywhere for full damage. Yeah, no, I, I understand and that. And that's not I'm just saying because that, the hard model is out the way. It literally yeah, swaps the I, hit zone I, I, attached to the head I of the I understand the that. I'm saying that that's what it logically represents, is the idea of the hard horn being gone, so that you're just hitting the weak spot because there's nothing in the way. Oh, nice, I got my purple sharpness back by evading that attack. Oh, God, you bitch! Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. I'll, I'll give you that one. That was awesome. In fact, it was a horn break as well. Oh! Yeah, that's pretty solid. That was delicious. I, I mean, I didn't taste it, to be fair. Oh, I did. It was it was delicious. Was it, like, so tasty all of your clothes popped off? Yes, that's, uh, as, as, as it happens, you know. Good luck. Oh, it wasn't you. <laughs> what? He literally yeah, done towards you. Yeah, and man. Good around. luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. Yeah, we're kind of in like the the thunder death pit of Diablos Shine. I mean, it's, I really like this area because I can vault without sheathing and just get over the fucking thing. So I, I, I I'm a, I'm a big fan of fighting down here. Also, it lets me get good mount attacks. So, oh, Rathian's arrived. That's that's helpful. Ha -ha! Oh, thanks, Rathian. I'm sorry, I take it back. Well done. You did a good job of coming here to symbolize the defeat. Now you're just going to be annoying to us for the next 20 seconds. Um, where are we? Did we just Rath get... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I yeah. thought. Okay. Rathian got the killing blow, obviously. Yeah, with that roar. She got to defend the corpse of her friend. Rathian stunned me before I could go fucking Yeah, I, I got stunned and wind pressured, pushed up the fucking <laughs> vaulting thing. I'm now getting tail swiped away. <laughs> I'm literally just not being allowed to carve this monster. Okay, I'm glad it didn't hit me midair. I thought that was about to hit me midair. Yeah, I really thought she had just caught you again. All right, I've gotten one part. Let's see what my chances are here. Oh, I'm out of range of that. That's pretty good. I love that 
she still poisoned you? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yep. I mean, I still have one part left to get. I don't know if I'm getting it at this rate. Yep. Nope. Only got two carbs. Thank you, Rathian. <laughs> All right, guys, that's Desert Seltus Queen and a bit of Black Diablos dessert. What are your words for D Seltus? Fuck Desert Seltus. I think that's her motto. <laughs> in multiple ways. All right, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and above them all. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good Goodbye. Bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh. Goodbye.